This is Marymount's University. Over the last 70 plus years since our founding, we've come a long way. What began as a two-year college for women has become a comprehensive, co-educational, doctoral granting university serving thousands of students at every level each year with a transformational educational experience. We're a beacon of diversity, the first in the Commonwealth of Virginia to be designated as a Hispanic serving institution and consistently ranked at the top of the region by U.S. News & World Report for international students and campus ethnic diversity. More transformation is ahead as Marymount strives for national recognition in innovation and commitment to student success, alumni achievement, and faculty and staff excellence. But what has not changed over the years is our core values and our mission, a focus on the education of the whole person and an emphasis on intellectual curiosity, service to others, and having a global perspective. Let's go back to the beginning in 1948, when Marymount was initially founded as a girls' high school by the Religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. After two years, Mother Gerard Phelan founded Marymount Junior College, the first Catholic college to be established in Virginia. While growing in the Catholic tradition, Marymount has always been welcoming of students from all faiths, with many religions represented on campus. Marymount Junior College began with just 13 students on property that had once been owned by Rear Admiral Presley Rixey, the White House physician to both Presidents William McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt. Marymount's most iconic structure, the main house, was once his mansion, and the lodge was once a stone guest house. Ten years later, the institution was incorporated as Marymount College of Virginia, an independent college now governed by a board of directors. This was also when Sister Magella Berg became the third president of Marymount, where she would serve for the next 33 years, presiding over decades of transformational changes on campus. These included the addition of the university's first modern student residence, Gerard Hall, Marymount turning co-educational with men joining the nursing program in 1973, the transition to senior college status with bachelor's degrees being offered in more than 20 fields at the time, and the introduction of master's degree programs for the first time in 1979. The institution's evolution was perhaps best represented in the mid-80s as it officially changed its name to Marymount University as we know it today. In the 90s, Marymount first expanded beyond its main campus north of Arlington, establishing the Boston Center in an exciting location with an urban feel. The building, known as the Blue Goose, was previously occupied by the CIA, which offered a variety of classes to its agents there as part of its Office of Training. For Marymount, this satellite campus would only grow in influence over the years to come. After the new millennium, Marymount took its next big step forward by offering doctoral degrees for the first time, one in physical therapy and another in nursing. These programs have become essential to the Marymount's curriculum, offering a path to the top of these in-demand career fields that truly reflect the university's commitment to serving others. In more recent years, Marymount has also launched successful doctoral programs in areas like cybersecurity, education, and business intelligence in both in-person and online formats. Over the past 10 plus years, modern learning and living facilities with exceptional amenities has allowed Marymount to thrive in the 21st century. Costapenko Hall's opening provided apartment-style living for students on main campus, while Carruthers Hall next door offered high-tech and up-to-date classrooms and labs for saints who are studying science and health. Meanwhile, Marymount's Boston campus was rejuvenated with the opening of the new Boston Center in 2017, a location designed to inspire current and future learners while reflecting the very best of what Marymount has to offer in a student experience-driven environment. And after Dr. Irma Becerra became the university's seventh president in 2018, Marymount's purchased the Rixie Apartments, which stand right next to the Boston Center. This premier student housing option features luxurious upscale apartment homes with numerous amenities. And with the location just steps away from the metro, it offers easy connections to DC internships and jobs, culture, recreation, and more. 
We have so much to be proud of when looking back on our history, but there's also so much more to come. Come be a part of the next chapter in the story of Marymount University.